don't want. Baby, just give me the, the, the remote. I'll, I'll, I'll watch cartoon later on. I'm, I'm, I'm asking, please. Baby, we'll, we'll dance. The, the show I want to watch, we'll, we'll be playing songs and we'll dance together. I know you love dancing, we'll dance, eh? Please, just give me the, the remote. Do you want me to give you a coin? Do you want a coin? See? You'll buy whatever you want with this coin. Mm. Get this coin. Mm -mm. Please, look, where I want to put, we are going to listen to good music. And you and you are going to dance, and I know you love dancing, just give me the remote. We will dance together. <laughs> Thank you. This is a gospel cruise. I'm feeling dooze, dooze, kuri be oni boy zaru, groove, dili te da ponaga groove, groove. Rejoice, it's a brand new day, new day. Feeling better, free from all danger. Just a coca pressure, leave it to the maker. Ika coca dance the pangono, tizi wa muma vina mulolo. Come on, scrap off your sorrow, dance like there's no tomorrow. But I got my uti ori, uga di ona o e uti gonke. It's okay, oro wa di zonde, sitting a kundu ne sebonse. I tell you, I tell you. Many things will come against you. Put all of them in the review. Don't let them come try and miss you. Happiness don't cast no money. Forget what they say to you. Just got somebody next to you and turn on to dance. 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 Spreading that word, yeah, I see. see. Rejoice cause we know Christ freed us. You can't see us. Spectacle Jama Johnny Sin. Feeling it better. Free from all danger. Just a coca pressure. Leave it to the maker. See, me It is okay, all over to We we'll spread that word from Sesheke all the way to Vanamayo Kwajeke. See, anyone set TV. Vamadanda Ulo Kulibe. I tell you, I tell you, many things will come against you. Put all of them in the review. Don't let them come try and mess you. Happiness don't cast no money. Forget what they say to you. Just got somebody next to you. My talent to dance. 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 I forget the former things I never dwell in the past When trouble comes my way I'm like this too shall pass A thousand may fall but they never come do say I count it all joy Nivella chemushie Ah my ninja at how? At how? Weekend boy? Nothing much Muntwanga Just catching up on some books and stuff But how do you manage to be so happy? Even when Kendro Nyoko say <laughs> I used to find it hard as well as I used But to tell you what the kind of music I'm listening to is kind of helping. I almost forgot. First tip, boy. Check out the Gospel Cruise on ZNBC TV. And join the camp. What if you check? Hey, check out the freshest videos, inspiring word through interviews, features, freestyle reviews, previews. Each time it's on. It's the only show with the Hallelujah Holla Back Jesus music. Keep watching. Awesome video over there. Stan Chipuma saying favored. 
He's really working hard. His album is like one of the best albums so far in Zambia. Worship music that will get you into the presence of the Lord. With me, I did promise, our first guest, uh, designer and gospel artist, Debbie. Did I forget anything from the intro? Is there not. anything else that you've added? <laughs> Footballer, maybe? Ish, I'm telling you, I could be anything. Okay, but... <laughs> I'm just going to stick to those two for now. All right. Yeah. How are you? I'm great. Okay. Hi. We're giving out uh, a free photo shoot today. Oh, really? So um, if you get lucky, we might also put you in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You so what, is, what does it take to get lucky? Um, just a simple poem on Gospel Cruise. Mm, okay. Chuff, chuff Gospel Cruise. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll see about you that. Think through? I will think through about it. All right. It. Mm. So we're starting the interview with uh, something we call random questions random cues so don't think too much about it okay just give me the answer that comes to your mind, to my mind. it's cool. not like we're going to argue with you uh, good okay first random cue if you had to write a song about your life what would be the title me it would be called me yeah <laughs> you said no questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I wanted to make sure. Because you know how in Zambia when you ask a question, they're like, in it. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the one thing you still have from your childhood? One thing. And an item? Hmm. I can't remember. When I die, I uh, everything is gone. Forget man. the former things. things. <laughs> Behold, <laughs> <laughs> the new has come. Oh gosh, I don't remember. I don't think I have any from my, my childhood. Miss Nunu. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> What's the best thing about having CQ as your big brother? What's the best thing? I get a lot of free passes. You do? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> What's the not so cool thing about having CQ as your elder brother? Oh, yeah, because he steals my shine. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm always introduced as CQ's young sister. I mean, I have my own identity, so that sometimes is not so cool. All right, yeah. so we should be saying CQ, Debbie's elder brother. Unlike that, that, the that's, other. That's, that's, Sounds that's cool, nice. right? Mm, yeah. That's nice, quite so, considerate. <laughs> so people out there, that's the way you introduce That's the way Debbie. to do it now. It's official <laughs> like that. All right, say something in a foreign language. Foreign language? Um, what can I say? Kamsamnida. Kamsamnida. Yeah. What does that Kamsamnida. mean? Kamsamnida. It's thank you in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, we can't argue. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one word you use a lot? Uh, pretty much. Pretty much. Mm. I think I've heard it like five <laughs> times now. Already, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Favorite fashion trend? Wow. Mushik. Okay. Yeah. What's that? Um, it's been between formal and casual. That's the kind I, I'm, I'm mostly on. That really, really um, out of the box. Okay. Yeah. If you're a rap artist, what would be your stage name? <laughs> That's crazy. Um... What could it be? Well, I have no idea. Okay. No clue. Okay. What could it possibly be? Mm. You want to give me one? Yeah. Yeah, try. Korea. <laughs> that's so lame. It's a country. Oh, come on. That's yeah. so boring. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a little interesting would be cool, yeah? Okay. Mm. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. AKA pretty much. AKA pretty much. You like it? No, not so bad. Okay. <laughs> I can All do right. It's a good start. <laughs> it's a good it's start. It's a good start. <laughs> what advice would you give your 12 years old self? Hmm. 12 year old self. What advice could I give myself? Um, don't be naive. <laughs> <laughs> Serious? Why? Yeah, because I mean, a 12 year old is when life's pretty much starting, mm -hmm. you know, so don't be naive. Just, okay. yeah, you, don't be naive. Just, just do you. Just do you, yeah. Okay. Mm. The craziest compliment you've ever gotten from a guy to get your attention? You look Chinese. You look Chinese. And I just called you Korea. <laughs> yeah, I'm in that category. Yeah. Yeah. What did you respond to that? I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you end the conversation. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The best gift you've ever received from Teo? A painting. 
at um, painting? He drew me differently. Uh, well, not differently, but um, it was ridiculous. I can't even describe it because it's <laughs> it's me in something else that I have never worn, never you know really seen myself in. But it came out all perfect. Like I was just right there in the shoot. So that picture to me was excellent. Okay. Yeah. So you wanna win a Korean lady draw high painting? <laughs> yeah, that's what Tio did. All right. Uh, fashion or music? Both. Fashion or music? Hmm. Both. Pompey or Jonathan McReynolds? Wow. That's not fair. Pompey or Jonathan <laughs> McReynolds? I'll let you go on that one, okay, but this one yeah, I well, want. Okay. Well, Jonathan McReynolds. All right. Yeah. She decided. <laughs> so let's get to that particular music video by Jonathan McReynolds. More with Davey on the other side, a.k.a. Pretty Much. <laughs> Amazing video over there, Jonathan Mac Reynolds. Obviously, you chose it, um, a.k.a. Pretty Much. Yeah. Maybe we just say a.k.a. Pretty. <laughs> yeah. I don't the know. The Much mind. doesn't, you know. Pretty Much. Pretty yeah. Much. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 You enjoyed the video? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, okay. of course. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Um, I'm, I'm curious to know um, how you got to where you are. Wow. Yeah. Um, I've, I've I actually came across two designers talking about you. Oh, really? Yeah. And, well, of course, they said good things. But they were just like, <laughs> ah, DB has made it. <laughs> oh. know, they were saying all these things. And, and I was just thinking, to every person who's made it out there, there's some story of how they yeah. got to. There's some battle they had to fight. Mm. How did you get to be DB, a.k.a. pretty much? Okay, you know, that's, that's uh, so, uh, I'll need the whole day to tell that story. Mm -hmm. But I'll cut it in little bits and pieces. So I'll start with the fashion, okay? So um, I grew up in a family of five and mostly with mom. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the pressure of a single parent raising five children. So she was, um, it was a bit stressful. So I only understand that now. Then obviously I'd be like, what's wrong with this woman, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So. Um, it was a bit tough um, having to have everything that you want. And I was the artist in the house. I mean, I was all over. I started out as a model. Mm -hmm. So I would have these uh, modeling pageants taking place in, in my school or somewhere else that I needed to take part in. But I didn't have the right clothes to wear, you know. Mm -hmm. So I would oftentimes would have to make something for myself, you know. So... I would have to bug my mom, and if she couldn't provide at that moment, it meant that um, she would she would have to give me a piece of cloth. Sometimes it would have to be a bed sheet mm -hmm. <laughs> or a pillowcase cover or, you know, a, a, a chair uh, cover. Those days we had chair covers, so, mm -hmm. you know. So she would give me those little pieces and make something out of that. And we're not going to those... My table cloth. Yes, yeah. my doilo. <laughs> 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 you know. So she would give me those pieces, and that's all she could give me, you know. And so I would make stuff out of that. She would help me actually so hand sew those things wear the outfit and I'd go out there win the modeling pageant and I'd be so excited you know so everybody would come asking oh so where did you get your dress made you know and when you go to these old flashy schools obviously they want you to, to you know mm -hmm. have bought that from even abroad but just to know that you you actually had something like this made was mm. was something really really fantastic so my interest for fashion uh, basically just started from having nothing you know, the, the issue of having nothing and not wanting to fall in the place of, oh, I don't have, no I have nothing, so I can't take part. Mm -hmm. I have nothing, so I can't do anything. I had to do something about it. And so um, it would sometimes mean me gain going to the maize field. Actually, I remember this one, one big, big outfit that I wore. I actually went to get maize stalks, like the wow. dry stuff. Yeah, the wow. dry stuff, and I had mm -hmm. created... <laughs> I I'm like an interpreter <laughs> right <laughs> now. You yes, know? please, yeah. go ahead. You know, and I made this beautiful skirt with all those things. Unfortunately, it was so uncomfortable to sit on. <laughs> but the look when you're standing and you're, when you're walking was just so excellent. And I used paper to make this head thing and covered them with those, you know, gluey stuff. So it's that need and that want to actually look really good mm -hmm. and look like you're up to date with mm -hmm. everybody else. And yet you're really not. But you're just trying to keep up with what you want to be. Because I wanted to, to win. I wanted to be the top model then, you know. Mm -hmm. So it got me started to, you know, 
pursue that, that career. So every time um, there were mo modeling pageants, everybody would come to me for a dress, you mm -hmm. know. Oh, I want something done. I don't know what you're thinking. So, and you know, that was when I was still in school. I was in high school, grade eight, about then. That's when this career started to take off. And up to today, it's... I like, I like that story to, yeah. because youths want a lot of material things and yeah. some go to the extent of getting blessers mm. some go to the extent of saying ah, i can't be I a can't christian because god does not provide, provide this. But enough from yeah. that need for you you're yeah. able to, to be see this how, person yeah so what's what's your advice to youths that you know don't want to turn their need into mm. a talent um stop being lazy mm -hmm. and stop giving excuses because i mean that's what everybody is doing now everybody has excuses because i will tell you the truth if there's any person in life that had excuses and had reasons to give excuses it could have been me mm -hmm. because i could have said oh my parents don't take care of me at home so i'm gonna find someone you know um you know home is like this and the situation at home was really tough mm -hmm. like really really tough you know so i could have decided to do that but i thank god that even even then i was grounded in god and I think that's the only thing that kept me sane because I, I can imagine the many opportunities that I got from men, mm -hmm. you know, to want to take care of me. You know, they were there, but mm -hmm. I had to make a choice. And that choice was grounded on God. Like, what would Jesus do? You know, I, I always have always had, <laughs> 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 I've always had that uh -huh. to, back, to fall back on. And that's been really my firm True. foundation. Yeah. True that. All right. So we're ending the interview with uh, your song. Um, Never leave, oh. is it? Never yeah. leave, or he'll never leave. What's the never full leave. title? Never leave. Okay, what what are you talking about in, in the song? Uh, this is um, pretty much part of my story, mm -hmm. but saying God will never leave you, no matter no matter what situation you're in, no matter how empty it feels like. Uh, God is the only person, the only thing that you can hold on to that you know will never leave. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So you're looking into that camera, sure. and you are introducing it, uh, DJ Pretty Much. Ha, okay. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, do the chipukush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> is that how DJ starts yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yo, 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 yo. So this is DJ pretty much and introducing this next coming song from your artist Debbie entitled Never Live. This is a gospel crew. 